beautiful people, it's your boy Jojo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now on this channel, I do lifestyle videos as well as reaction videos. If you're new to the channel, please do well to like and sub to the channel after this video. To all my returning viewers, I want to say a very big thank you for the support. Now let's get to it. Today's video is going to be a reaction video. Now I came across this video on social media where a wife slaps her husband on live radio that was being streamed live. Now, before I say anything about the video, check the video out and then I'll let you know what I think. And share one or two. Let's get to it. You tell my meme. Hey! No, that's it. You know, say. And that's it. And that's it. Hey, Welcome back, guys. I'm sure you've watched the video and you have one or two things going on in your mind. Now, this is it. First of all, in my opinion, the lady should have kept her cool, right? She should have kept her cool. But in these kind of situations, you cannot really tell what's going to happen, right? Let me tell you a little bit about uh, the whole story. They having uh, marital problems, but this is it. This lady was introduced to the guy by uh, sister-in-law of the lady, right? And by the lady, I mean the wife. And this guy saw the lady, liked the features of the lady. I mean, that's what he was looking for. And they didn't really get to know each other. They got married because I mean, they, they saw each other, they were, they were feeling the vibe, and then they had, uh, I mean, they did what they had to do, and then the lady got pregnant, let me just say it that way. And so because of that, they had to get married. Not knowing each other, not knowing uh, much about the man's character, the man not knowing much about the lady, they just had to get married. This happened in Ghana, by the way. And Long and short is, the man was treating the lady bad. Or should I say, paying the lady back uh, for somewhat, I don't know what he's thinking about. The lady promised him some money to help the both of them get married. And the lady had not fulfilled that promise. So he was being, um, what should, how should I say, he was being stingy to the lady. For lack of a better word, he was being stingy to the lady. Now, the f in the full video, you cannot really tell who's telling the truth. The man is saying one thing, and the lady is also saying another thing. And what got the lady angry, so angry that she slapped the heaven was the heaven was trying to say that sometimes the lady would, I mean, ease herself and then put it under the bed. And now the lady feels like the man is telling a lie. So she was like, hey, if you keep telling a lie, I'm going to slap you. And then, it happened. I know it sounds funny, it might look funny, but let's go on to the other side. There are so many men that are being abused also in their relationships. A lot of men, but then they cannot voice it out. Because if they voice it out, people are gonna laugh, right? Maybe I might even laugh, but it's a serious matter and I think the lady should have kept her cool. And if you're a man or if you're a lady and you, you guys are going to get married, make sure you know each other that well. I mean, don't just get married because people are forcing you to get married. The fact that you and the lady um, slept together and the lady got pregnant doesn't mean that you should go right away and get married to the lady. I mean, yes, you are responsible for that pregnancy. But just make sure you get to know the lady well. If the lady puts to bed, take care of the kid. Be responsible. Get to know each other during that time. And then if you guys want to get married, you get married. That way you know how the man is and how the lady is. Don't get forced into a marriage. At the end of the day, the lady apologizes. For, for, for what reason, I, I really don't know. Could be that the man was telling the truth and could be that the lady was telling the truth. At the end of the day, the lady apologizes to the husband. And check out that video. 
Oh, I you to be on it. So far, before you do that, I'm more trends about it. I'm more safe. So now that you've seen that video, what does it tell you? Do not go to a third party. By a third party, I mean someone that is not in the family. I mean, it could be. Um, someone that's within the family that can help you guys sort out the problem, no matter how chance the problem might be. I've done that kind of mistake before and it doesn't really help. The best people that can help you sort out your problems are the two of you. You guys need to sit down and talk about your problems. Now, if it's not going that well, parents of both sides can, can come in, right? And help you guys sort it out. Now, if that's not working, I mean, you guys can take a break a little bit. And that's my opinion, though. I don't know what your opinion might be, but do not just right away take your problems uh, to a third party somewhere who's not part of the family and then talk about your problem with the. With, with, I mean, things like this happen and it's all over the place, right? So. I don't know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want to see the full video, I will leave the description in the description box below and you can check it out. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.